everybody. I'm at my mother's today and we're getting ready for the holidays. We're making a delicious 10 pound brisket. Uh, you can decide how much you need for your family and friends. And uh, this is what we do. So the first thing we do is we soak the whole brisket in water um, and it's going to sit in water for a half an hour. We take it out and we put some salt, some kosher salt on both sides and you're going to let it sit for an hour. Um, this takes time. It's not like a super fast recipe. Afterwards, you're going to wash it off and then you're going to make a rub. Um, but before you make the rub, you're going to add some mustard to it. Okay, and that will make everything stick to the rub. In the rub, we use garlic powder, you can use onion powder, she uses oregano and chili flakes, onion powder, and paprika if you want, and a few bay leaves. So you have the mustard on, you're gonna add all your spices to it, and it's gonna be so delicious and tender, you're not gonna believe it. You're gonna be so happy. For the sauce, we use at least one bottle of ketchup. Now, my mother uses her old huge mixing bowl, at least a size like this. Again, it depends on um, what size roast you're going to make. So that's what my mother uses because we use a huge roasting pot like this. So uh, for the sauce, we use the bottle of ketchup. You can use sugar-free or regular. Worcester balsamic vinegar, some Tabasco, just a drop, you don't want it too spicy, and some black pepper. We also use some kosher wine, but you can use any kind, some red wine, um, probably about a half a cup, you don't want to overdo it, or maybe you do. Um, some oregano and a little bit of brown sugar. She uses about a half a cup, and you can use stevia, whatever you want, um, just because you're using a lot of the ketchup, which is acidic, um, that'll balance it out. And then you're gonna add a lot of water, at least a cup and a half or more, maybe even two cups, um, and you're gonna taste it. With a lot of these recipes, you really need to taste it. You're gonna need veggies, not a lot, some onions, some carrots, mushrooms, and we use a couple of red and green peppers, you can use yellow peppers, and a few potatoes, and it makes for an amazing roast. We do it in big chunks, and we put some onion and carrots underneath the roast and then we put the roast on top we pour the sauce on and then we add the other vegetables and potatoes you're going to bake it for at least four and a half to five hours for a 10 pound roast and you're going to cover it with some tin foil now here's for the exciting part after you're going to take the roast out of the oven and you're going to let it cool with the sauce you're going to see this sauce my mother and I put it in the fridge and you're going to let the fat come to the top so that you don't have any fat and scrape it off. Okay. After you let the roast rest, you're going to cut it up and here it is. Oh my God. Okay. Um, I haven't tested it yet, but of course I have to let you see it is. Oh my God. Really? Oh. I'm sorry, I get so excited over this roast. I never order roast out because I'm sorry. This is the best roast. Oh, we have a call. Anyways, that's it. We have some delicious vegetables. Here they are. This is when you do things live. You're going to have calls. So here it is, the yummy um, vegetables that we made. And you can serve these with it. And the potatoes. Amazing side dish right there. All in one, you have your veggies, you have your carb, your potato, and you have your protein. Have a wonderful day. I love you guys. This is delicious. Try it. You won't be sorry. It's amazing. And have a great day. Mwah. Bye.